Okay guys, AMC is down more than 25%. Let's join forces and see what actually happened over here. The original message that was delivered through the media and how they actually found the message was not clear, but this is the actual event and the actual news. AMC Entertainment entered into binding agreement term sheet with the name plaintiffs in the case of AMC Entertainment stockholder litigation to settle the shareholder litigation. You probably wonder, but what this even actually means? Okay, the settlement term sheet provides that the plaintiffs and the companies will jointly request that the status quo order in the above reference case will be lifted. And why this should cause a major sell off or 20% after market hours? Well, look at this. If the status quo actually is lifted, the company expects to file additional amendment to its third amendment restated certificate of incorporation which was previously approved by the company stockholders in march 14th which essentially means that increase the total number of authorized shares of the company class a common stock aka amc stock uh, from 524 million towards 550 million shares and effectuate a reverse stock split in a ratio of one share class a for every 10 shares of class a common stock the reverse stock split together with the share increase will permit the conversion of the company's ape shares into amc shares and understand why you're thinking everyone knew about this this was not a secret this was not a surprise why the market reacts like this sure the ape was up 20 percent but then the ape lost the gains faster than the AMC stock increase the actual sell-off. Also something very important, I know a lot of people actually had own AMC fractional shares or Ape fractional shares. The information below states that no fractional shares of class A common stock will be issued as part of the settlement payment. Essentially guys, it looks like we're moving closer to the actual reverse stock split to the actual conversion Ape into AMC and issuing more AMC common stock. Is this means that the whole lawsuit situation is over? I'm not sure about this, but it appears to be that market reacts in this way. Market feels that uh, the actual case will end in favor of AMC and continuing with the actual process of following the agenda from the meeting, converting APE into AMC and having the reverse stock split 10 to 1. This is the only real explanation looking at how the both securities performed today. If it was something extremely bad for the company, you're not gonna see APE sky high, right? You will see both securities dip like crazy, 20% each. But no, we didn't see that. So the question is, what is the time frame in which we're gonna see where AMC will be trading prior to the actual uh, event happening because I don't think that this will be the, the lowest we could we could see because the ape hit it uh, $1.90 who knows ape could could cross two dollars or could go below that so they will be trading very very closely in my opinion my expectations are that the actual was spread between both securities prior the very last trading sessions of the conversion they will have a very very small spread in between nothing unseen or unexpected was announced or happened this is just how the market reacts or most of the time overreacts let me know who actually expects uh, to see the bot securities to break even and destroy the spread prior to the actual conversion this is also an option nobody knows what is in the sleeve of of the short sellers at this point